Hi, it's Yuris and welcome to Tattoo Shop Talk. And today we'll take a look at this chair for your clients. This one is from Tetzel. The model number is this one because I don't remember those numbers. And it's quite expensive. And it's also good. So this is more like an overview. I'll share my thoughts, what I like, what I don't about it. And as a little story, there's one thing that got messed up and I'll try to fix it. So this is the chair. I have this thing only on this side because I usually keep this side open so I can get closer to customer. And if I turn it around, I would just put it on this side the other bit is somewhere at the back i don't even know where it is but it's there it's a pretty cool chair and it's a lot better than generic ones that i have worked with before so this thing goes completely flat if you want to that would be that and this surface is at 78 centimeters i'm one meter 83 84 so when i sit next to it it's kind of here and obviously there so it's all good it's comfortable position what i like that underneath this bit is very flat so you can put your foot on there not too much in because there's this metal bit that you might bump into it's a lot better than those chairs that, that has that big fancy looking plasticky bit but then you are very limited on space underneath it let's put it up you can move this part pretty high up so that's the top clip and you can remove it if you want to. You can remove this part and then there's a hole if somebody wants to rest with their face in there. Boom. These parts move down with this lever. Bam. And on fully extended chair it goes down kind of almost 90 degrees angle and what's cool they are spring loaded so you can put them down and when you need to put them up you just move them up. Boom. And it's in place. It's this far from the wall and if we need to rotate it we just put the back up and it goes around. Let's remove this. You can see on this side there's this lever type of thing with which you adjust angle of the backrest and this part here is meant to be for your customers where to rest legs so when it, this stuff is done and customer wants to rest their legs on here and you can adjust height here by removing the spin there's three height adjustments for it but this part i don't like because if your customer is sitting up on here if i position customer like this and i have to get close to the lower back or something that's not very comfortable because all this stuff gets in the way to get to the lower part you have to do some weird stuff like you know you sit like this you sit like this and it's it's not good this gets in the way for higher up on the back where you can stand it's all good it's all comfortable it's all nice and this is how much the feet is off the ground when it's fully extended if you need to lower it down then you can remove these parts there's a clicky things when you want to extend them or remove them completely and i'm removing things because i will need to fix it so less stuff on it is better press the lever put those things down And off it goes. Ow. Yeah, be careful. Don't do like I did. And this is the lowest sort of setting of it. It's like a regular chair type of a thing. Boom, boom. And do your thing. Now about chair itself, how it feels. It feels super comfortable. It's kind of harder foam. It's more like a memory foam type of a thing. And I worked with generic chairs of these foldable types before. They were like a lot softer. This one also feels kind of heavier th than those generic ones, which is a good thing because it sticks to ground very good. When you move it, you have to apply a bit more force than with generic ones. Maybe it's also because the feet are fresh. That is all good and it feels heavier. And the cushioning feels also nicer, more sturdy, more of a memory foam type of a thing. Because it's heavier, I bought extra thing for it. It's already not a cheap product, so that price was kind of a bit ouchy for me. This is one of the most expensive products that I have in the shop. I think the big stencil machine is kind of in the same price range and maybe the laptop that I bought. And yeah, this is one of the top investments. For some reason, I was expecting that it would come with these things. I bought them separately. And one of our colleagues is female and she don't need to push around heavy chairs. Then I ordered separately this lever thing, which comes with the little wheels. And what it does when you need to move it, you just do this, lift it up, and then you can roll things around. Oh. And this is where you find all sorts of treasures in cap. So yeah, move it around. 
get it in the position and put it back down. And when it came, originally this part came with just some plastic covers and then you remove them and add that bit, then you can move it around. So now, boom, goes down. And now I will fully extend it. And this is how long time it takes and this is how far up it goes. Another thing that I noticed that is way better in comparison to generic chairs, generic chairs that I have worked with. When you work with customer you get less of a wobble. Obviously it moves around but it's way less than like if you tattoo and customer moves it's less of this rotation movement so you don't have to worry and do some weird tricks to hold that whole spinning situation in place. Never spin it around with customer on it because there are those fail videos where the whole thing tips over. Safety first and like I mentioned most of the times it's without armrest things if it's a longer session I'm on this side. I would take this one off and put it on there if I spin it around Boom goes to the other side and most of the times only one of the armrest is on there on longer sessions where it's important for customers comfort then I'll put both on I'll find where the other one is and Then it goes back on and that's about it. It's expensive one but it's definitely a good one. I always think how much I paid for it because it's a lot of money, but it is better and almost nothing have happened to it. I mean, yeah, a bit of a downside that these plasticky things that cover these ends, they tend to pop off if you catch them. That's weird, but that's a problem for most of the chairs. Everything else feels sturdy. It came with some extra elements. I don't remember what they were. I think it was these clippy things. It feels sturdy. It feels well done. It is definitely very expensive. So it was painful to pay for it. It is a lot better than generic ones. And this is not most expensive of their products. They have one of these types that is one price higher. And then they have that new one that is crazy expensive. It's probably crazy good, but it's also a lot of money. If some major things happen, you can also buy spare parts for it thing that happened to me there's no spare part for that but i'll try to fix it as you notice there's this thing one is higher up one is lower down and i can't get this one higher up it would just collapse back down and that's annoying it's not a big deal but sometimes when you tattoo let's say somewhere on a leg then this leg is here and then you have to maybe ask customer to put other one it's just uncomfortable and the fact that it happened is super annoying I'll try to fix it in a moment and the story how it happened goes I was tattooing a customer uh, it was I think it was somewhere on the back of arm and the bed was in this setting there was an armrest there was a station I removed armrest I pushed station aside so it's pretty obvious that you should get off this way to check what you just got done and customer for some reason figured out that best way to get off this thing would be this way and crawled all the way down and would put the whole weight on this thing. Customer was on all fours on this thing and it went a bit down. I thought it's impossible to damage something. I thought it just went down on that slidey thing. I still have no idea how customer figured out why that's the best way to get off the chair. And that's a little tip. Always check with your customers, always instruct them. Get off this way, sit in the middle, because in tattoo shops, I don't know why, but for many people, brain switches off when you ask them to sit down. Everyone knows the story. If there will be a chair and this thing, and you will tell the customer, take a seat. For some reason, they think this is a chair. If you tell them to lay down, they ask, how do I lay down? And the same thing, if you ask them to get off the thing, they'll do weird shit. And that's my little tip. Always instruct customers even the smallest details, even the things that feel obvious, things happen. Armors get broken and heavy duty metal rods on beds like these get bent. I don't know how big the customer was. I don't know, but if I would have to guess the weight, probably easy 100 if not 120 kilos. Put on this thing and it got bent. I'll try to show it closer. So you can see this is the straight one and that's the bent one and the bend is in this area. I hope it translates on camera well. Here, that's the bend part. How I wanna solve this problem, I wanna get this thing out and flip it other way around. So hopefully that will improve the situation. I have some tools ready. 
Let's remove most of the things that I can to make it lighter. This is the length of rods. Boom. And this is the length of feet units. And they have zippers, so if anything, you can get them off and change them. Also, I have managed to keep it clean, even though it's this color, which is called Oxblood. Somehow it's all clean. I have different type of bed that I reviewed earlier in the piercing room. I kept it clean for around two years. And then my three-year-old came by, took a stamp and made ink mark on it. And I can't wash it off. I guess like that. No, 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 no. I will remove that part. This, this sticks out too much. So there's the spin. And it slides out. There's one hole here and three holes there. And let's tip it over. Let's clean the parts that you don't get to regularly. And for those who's curious, when you use this lever, <sighs> wheels come up and then you can move it around. That sounded painful. Okay, springs. Fun with springs. Okay. What I find interesting than the bigger screw at the top here have this type of a, what it's called, nut. It's with the plasticky bit, so it's, it stays in a position and doesn't unscrew itself. The one on the bottom that gets moved a lot, for some reason doesn't have it. So every now and then check it that it's still there and maybe tighten it up. Yeah. So that the bend. That's how much it got bent. I'll flip it other way around and hopefully it will change something. Funny part is I forgot which way was it. Drop it in there and other screw. in a place ah, shit. now it's too much Nope, my plan did not work. Also, one thing I want to mention that assembling this thing, book a day just to assemble it, because it was it came in the cardboard boxes packed with foam. The whole shop was a mess and it took some time. It took some time to set it up and it took some time to clean the whole mess after it. Oh, I'm so disappointed. I hope this will work. Yeah, and I didn't say anything to customer because I thought it's just like it's impossible to bend this thing. And it would be kind of a weird to go with customer for like, oh, you bent my chair. Annoying. And I don't think I want to try to bend it, at least for now. Because I don't want to mess it up more. But I'll figure out a way or maybe I'll find somebody who have the right tools to do it. Maybe you know who to contact to get just this part. Because the spare parts I've seen on webpage, it's just the whole things. And I don't think I saw this one in particular well i'll start with con contacting barber that's where i got it from and then maybe that's all themselves my plan did not work but that's my story that's my attempt of fixing it and that's my overview of this chair
Yeah, and with these things with extensions on, it's even more noticeable. There's a whole 10 centimeters difference. Eh, sucks. A little update here. I actually fixed the thing so you can see it's now all even. And as I was editing video, I just noticed that what I do, it doesn't make sense. Probably my post-COVID brain wasn't functioning at full potential. So what I forgot that I can move this part here. So when it would be from end to end, I couldn't get this part, this screw in. But I disassembled it one more time, moved this part out a few centimeters, got this back in and it took me less than two minutes without tipping it over i just like it wasn't very comfortable but you can see the quickest most pointless time lapse as i talk it took me a few minutes and i fixed it so now this bend is other way around saved me a worry and still if you know where to get these individual spare parts and who to contact then please let that know in the comment section so this this is what i realized as i was editing and i was like this doesn't make sense came to work I was like, I'll give it one more try, few minutes, done, chair is back. And I'm happy and not upset about the situation. Good news. This saddle chair is also from Barber. It's pretty all right. I've noticed that I have new back muscles now because you have to hold your back up. I use it for work and later on also for editing. And you feel it kind of here in the muscles, which is really nice. And the cool part is that the lever is also at the back. So it never gets in the way and you don't have to think on which side is it. That's the top length and that's the minimum. And it don't have the crazy wheels. I haven't put them on because they start to scare me a bit. If you have any comments, ideas, what's up and down about this type of chairs, leave that in the comments as well. And do the usual, press likes, comment, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in a future episode. Bye.